Hello beautiful moms, welcome to Nurturing Wings where I'm here to edify you, encourage you, and strengthen you on your mothering journey. And good morning, this is a wonderful day. I'm so grateful for this day and I'm grateful that God's been speaking about Psalm 127, 4 to me. But I am going to start reading on number three because it is really essential. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. And I just feel like it's so essential as moms to really have a lens of seeing our children as a gift and a reward while we're parenting. So if we have those lenses on, if we see them as a gift, see them as a reward, I just believe the outflow of our hearts will be all the more beautiful and uplifting and really calling out the genuineness of who they are. Because just reminding ourselves that they are a gift, that they are a reward. So I bless you with that. And I bless myself with that too, because I know we all need to grow in these things. Um, so the other verse is children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. And I just feel like that is so interesting because I always thought about how are children like arrows? Like, what does that mean? I always wanted to expand on that. And I always kind of seen it as them hitting the target, you know, that we're the parents that kind of like, you know, launch them to their target, to their destiny. But there's also another idea that was expanded on um, from this book called Win Win Parenting by Seth and Lauren Dahl. And I haven't finished it yet, but it is very encouraging. And I'm really grateful to be reading this book. And in this book, they talk about at that time when the Psalms were written that arrows, you know, they don't come in bulk packages like they do today. They just, they're all the same. There's not really a uniqueness about them. I mean, I guess if you you know, spend a lot of money on these unique ones, but still like they're not really handcrafted as they were in the Psalms. And it's just amazing because they chose a branch and every branch is so uniquely different. So, you know, it just makes me want to cry because God made every branch in the world just uniquely different. There's not one that's the same. And when you take an arrow, or when you take a branch and you create it into an arrow, you know it intimately. And I feel like this is the part that really is stood out to me is that the best archers had a part in shaping each arrow and intimately knew their arrows and you know what they were made to do. And I just feel like as moms, like that is the core of God's heart for us to intimately know our children, to know the depths of their soul, to know their giftings intimately, to know what are their weaknesses? What are their strengths? To know what foundation they need to really prosper and how to get them to the target, to their destiny, to fulfill that because, you know, because of someone intimately knowing them, it is, you know, all the more um, a great foundation for them to be launched in the, in the right way. And so I just wanted to start first of all with a declaration for us and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start you can join me I declare that my children are a gift and a reward and that I intimately know my child like the best archer in handcrafted arrow um, or I should say like the best archer knows his handcrafted arrow so that is, I really believe the heart of God, <laughs> the heart of God, you are the best archer for your child and they are your handcrafted arrow. And so I just wanted to pray over you that you would know your children deeply, that you would know the ins and outs of their soul, that God would give you vision for your child, that God would give you vision for their giftings, for what they're called to do in life, for you know, who they are and what they're best capable to achieve at and what strengths they have, what weaknesses, and what ways can you help them grow and to become the best version of themselves and see beyond, you know, the hardships, but to actually focus in and see how can we make all things good? How can we create beauty and make all things new and see the best and, you know, turn this situation into, you know, the best potential 
And I just pray, Father, that you would give every mother eyes to see and ears to hear what you're saying over them and what you're saying over their beautiful children so that they can be just mighty in the Lord and have the greatest destiny and be there and have their greatest potential being birthed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I just thank you so much for being here today and I pray for your day to be filled with his love and I will see you next time. Bye.